Like you never had any kids? You never wanted any kids? Yes, I, I mean, I wanted kids. I mean, but it's like, I never had time to have kids. I'll get out of jail and go back the next day. When was the last time you was in a relationship? Since 2005. You don't like men, do you? What? No, I don't like men. Just hey, like, man, we in Atlanta. You got to ask, man. Hey, man, no, I don't like men, man. But, you know, uh, out here, you know, people play games. When they play games, games be played. What that mean? Like I said it, you know. I mean, uh, they call this finesse out here. But, you know, once they know you don't do what you do, they won't deal with you anymore. But it's like... It's so like, you done finesse some gay guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm going to go deep into that. But, you know, they just... I mean, I've never been in a city like this before to where people... Man, man to come up to me and just give me money like that. And I'm like, I know you want something for this. And then, like, how much for this? And, and I don't... I mean, you know... It's so did you trade sex for money? Uh, well. What's up, YouTube? Become a member of the channel. Click the join button. You're going to get access to exclusive content, more updates, post-interview reactions, and the lost tapes that never made it to YouTube. Click the join button. Become part of the family. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got my man out here today. How you doing today, man? Man, I'm doing great, man. I'm blessed, man. I'm still here. I know that's right, man. I know that's right. It's a beautiful day as well. All right, so are you homeless? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, how old are you? I'm 52. 52? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and so how long have you been homeless? Well, basically, I've been on for about like five, six years. About five, six years? Do me a favor. Just speak up just a little bit, all right? But I heard you about five or six years. Yes. And so off and on five or six <laughs> years, so... Um, you know, when was the last time that you kind of had it like a roof over your head? I actually uh, like hotels or maybe stay at a friend house or something, but actually just having one period of some place to stay was not, not. So nothing permanent, but just like kind of here, there, hotels and yes, sir. little places. Okay, okay. All right. Um, you have any kids? No, I do not. Have you ever been married? No, I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Um, and so what was it that happened five or six years ago that caused you to become homeless in the first place? Um, well, I started hanging around individuals that shouldn't have been hanging around and uh, they were, you know, doing drugs and whatnot and I wanted to be in and I thought maybe that I could do it and quit but I ended up getting stuck and a lot of them moved on doing better and I'm still here, I'm stuck standing there so I'm just you know, praying to God to help <clears throat> me to, you know, finally wake up and realize that enough is enough but you know it's like i pray to god and ask him to help me but it's what like, drugs are we talking about well i'm, I'm doing um, powder cocaine uh crack I'm doing crack i'm doing ice and everything except for heroin and uh what the other stuff is killing me right now okay and so i mean when what was the first age that we did crack i was like 33 33 yes okay okay and that's what you're talking about as far as hanging around the wrong people and that's when you started doing that stuff? Yes, sir. Okay, why do you think they was able to move on and you wasn't? I'm actually asking myself that. The only thing I can say is they maybe just got tired or maybe they just uh, had a, a rude awakening. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm still trying to figure that one out. I don't know. Okay. All right, so let's, let's start from the beginning, man. So where are you from? I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. You from Memphis? Yes, sir. Hey, man. Shout out that big Memphis, man. Yes, Shout out 901, man. The whole 3 6 Mafia. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, man, sir. shout it out. Man. Definitely, man. Skinny Pimp yes, uh, back in the day. What <laughs> you know about that, man? No, no, yeah. That's hey, I'm man. Right. Nobody needs nobody. You yes, feel sir. me? All right, man. Definitely, man. Memphis is, I would say, you know, when it comes to the sound of Atlanta music, I would almost argue that Memphis was played a big part in creating the Atlanta sound. So that's just anyway. All right. So so growing up in Memphis, man, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? Uh, I did up until I was like twelve or thirteen years old. Were they married? Yes, they were. Okay. Um, and so they split about around twelve or thirteen. Yes. That's one, that's did, one. did you have do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I'm the oldest of nine. Okay, so you're the oldest of nine. Yes. Okay, so, I mean, growing up, would you say that you had, like, a fairly normal childhood? I, like I said, I had a wonderful childhood until uh, my parents split up. Uh, you know, what happened? 
Uh, I'm not actually sure. I was 13. Well, I mean, but like, what what was it about them splitting up that made your childhood go south? Oh, uh, well, my father, I thought was my brother took my sister and brother that were healed, and I thought that I was healed, and I found out that I wasn't healed, and I found out why, and I was like, man, blown away by it. So why? Why was it? Uh, I found out I was the victim of a rape baby, man, and I and I couldn't deal with it, <clears throat> and it's like my my family knew who it was, and they knew what happened or whatever. And uh, you mean I, you was the product yes. of that, meaning that yes. you were the you was what was conceived because of that. Yes, sir. Okay, and so your mom was was that worded, and um, so that happened to your mom. How old was she when that happened? Oh, uh, twelve years old. Twelve? Yes, sir. Hey man, it's it's a wonder that that she didn't that they didn't choose to have an abortion. Well, man. actually, they was. She ran. She said God told her to have me. She ran away <clears throat> and went to live with some older guy that she finally fell in love with. That was the one I thought was my father. He took care of her, and, and I think you know God has a purpose for me. Like, however, the way I came in, and then well, I don't know for sure about who he is. I'm not gonna speak about that right now because it's just a rumor. However, uh, I think they have something. to do Is with your mom that. still alive? Yeah, she's in Memphis, Tennessee. I talked to her other um, yesterday. She's sending me some money to help me get back home to Memphis. So, I'm going so speak there. up just a little bit, I man. I said she's there. I talked to her yesterday. She wants me to come back home. So um, she's going to send me money to come back home, but I have to go to the rehab and get myself together. When did you get here to Atlanta? I got here January the 26th. Why'd you come? Well, I actually was coming from Disney World with my sister, and I came on the bus, and I got off the bus. Had a little money in my pocket. I had been off drugs for a while. And I uh, went Cross the street over there, and I thought, you know, I could Hey, have man, one. listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you ain't the first, you ain't the last, man. That Greyhound station eats up many of many people who stop through Atlanta. They stop here, and they never get back on that bus, man. And so um, I can tell you that story. You basically got off. You wanted to hang out for a little bit, and here you are uh, seven, eight months later. <laughs> yes, this is amazing. <laughs> okay. That's yeah, crazy. All right, man. All right, all right. Okay. Um, so I mean, growing up, did you did you did you go to high school? Well, no. Um, I uh, like I said, instantly at, at thirteen, I started getting in trouble. Uh, my I really kind of lost my mind, man. I started hearing voices and I was tripping, man. What age did you find out that I was like 13, 13 12, 13 whatever. When you found out that that's how you was conceived? Yes. Well, yeah, I, the, yeah. So you thought that that guy was your dad? Yes, I did. You know, I really did. You know. So how? I mean, how did that make you feel? I can't, I can't, uh, I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, it's like losing the father that, that was here, that he passed away, and it hurt me, I'm like, man, and then he's like, changed up, you know, on me, you know, I could see the difference in the gifts, I could see the difference in the love, and I was like, damn, he, and that is true, he's not my father, but um, I really thought he was up until then, you know, so, and I mean, it kind of, it still bothers me. Right today, really, to be honest with you, man. Because well, I'm about to say it's almost 40 years later, man. It's like I, I, I can see that it's something that still um, is 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 affecting you. Yes, it's a whole lot, man. And um, I just don't understand why I've been put in a position to do what God wants me to do. But I I, 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 I thank Him for it. And I know he's not going to put more on me than I can, but so it's I mean, getting to the point to where I'm ready to just say, forget it, man. So, so, did you end up, so you, did you go to high school or no? No, I, I got uh, kicked out at seven, man, and I just last I completed. I went to boys' school, and I started doing time and in and out, and I started getting big time when I got seven, when I'm 19. What was the longest stint you did? Seven years, twice. I did seven, twice. And what was that for? Uh, criminal attempt to get me capital for murder. I had a uh, shootout with the police officer in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, you shooting it out with the police? Well, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, it was a racial thing. They pulled us over and uh, we had the uh, uncle's car. They thought it was stolen. They were calling us monkeys and kicking it with the sticks and whatever, spitting on us. And I told them, man, I ever see you again. You know, this and that. And um, I meant it. And I was walking down the street. I found a gun. And I seen the dude two days later. And I just, you know, and I don't know. I just, I went, you know. And just something took over me, man. I really wanted to kill them because I was like racist people and how they do Have you ever like killed that. anybody before? I pray to God that I haven't, but I know I've shot some people before. And I don't know. You, know, I really you don't know what the outcome was? No, sir. I pray to God I didn't. 
Where'd you shoot him at? Do you know where it hit at? I have a blessed day. Uh, My boy. I plead the fifth on that. However, I um. Did you shoot anybody in the head? No. No. Uh, no headshots. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility. All right, man. All right. Um. So I mean, at this point, you know. Like you never had any kids, you never wanted any kids? Yes, I, I mean, I wanted kids, I mean, but it's like, I never had time to have kids. I'll get out of jail and go back the next day. When was the last time you was in a relationship? Since 2005. You don't like men, do you? What? No, I don't like men. Just, hey man, we in Atlanta, you gotta ask, man. Hey man, no, I don't like men, man. But you know, uh, out here, you know, people play games. When they play games, games be played. What that mean? Like I said it, you know. I mean, uh, they call this finesse out here. But, you know, once they know you don't do what you do, they won't deal with you anymore. But it's like... It's so like, you done finesse some gay guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm going to go deep into that. But, you know, they just... I mean, I've never been in a city like this before to where people... Man, man to come up to me and just give me money like that. And I'm like, I know you want something for this. And then, like, how much for this? And, and I don't... I mean, you know... It's, so did you trade sex for money? Uh, well, sometimes, but it's like I tell them straight up, I'm straight top, you know, that, that, that. But you know, people think you're on drugs, you're weak or whatever, and then they want you to jump over the boundaries you said. Then I'd be like, well, you can't afford this and that. And sometimes you might. How much would you stuff. charge for that? Man, look, man. Uh, that's something, man. I really sure not to talk about, but they, I mean. Well, I mean, it, I'm curious, like. Because I, I want to know how much would a guy spend on that? Whatever you want. Whatever. I mean, you know, uh, guys out here, they get in the car, they might want to give them guys $10, 20 And I tell them, man, spread up, man. I'm, I'm, I want at least 100 for that. You want to touch them? And I'm like, I'll be like a lot of times kidding with them, but they'll come back with it. I'm like, damn, you for real? And it's shocking. I didn't know it existed like this. And I'm like, damn, man, I'm starting to enjoy this shit. Money just good, and I get to have them do what I want to do. But when you really wake up and realize, Man. When you say enjoy this shit, are you talking about the lifestyle or the actual sex? The money, the drugs. I mean, Atlanta's, man, it's a city that, I tell you, man. It's just kind of a party city? Yes, I mean, it's amazing. But at the same token, you gotta understand, I'm trying to get away from this because simple fact that I, I don't want to be like what I'm seeing I'm around because if, if, if your company makes you and I see these things, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do something better with my life. I really want to be a part of the solution, not the problem anymore because I think God saved me, preserved me for that because I don't feel like I've matured enough to you know, act like my age, be my age. When I got locked up in, in, in the 1990, I was 19. And I got out 26 and I went back. And it's like, I never really had time to really grow up, I think. And Arrested I, Development. We just saw that on another video, yeah, man. It's like my mind. Let, 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 me, let me ask you this, man, because you did several stints in jail. Yeah. Was your first time doing homosexual activities here in no, Atlanta? No, it was in Memphis. I, I started uh, doing that when uh, I was like... Uh,